My name is Lauren Purdy. I'm the Deputy Director for the Division of Opportunity, Diversity, and Inclusion. Not everybody starts at the same point in life, and I think that it's our duty, not just as public servants, but human beings, to ensure that people are given a fair opportunity for success. The Division of Opportunity, Diversity, and Inclusion was formed in 2015. The division was formed really because ODOT previously didn't have a centralized division focused on diversity and inclusion initiatives. We had separate program areas. We had the DBE program, Title VI program, ADA program, but there was no centralized area within ODOT that could really champion uh, all of the issues that are included with diversity and inclusion. We realized that this was something uh, that was really needed at ODOT. One of the main goals that we had in creating the division was that we at ODOT needed to take the initiative to reach out and include the community, the small businesses, minority businesses in what we were doing at ODOT to make sure that they had the knowledge and the tools to be successful. Within the division of ODI, we have three offices, the Office of Business and Economic Opportunity, the Office of Civil Rights Compliance, and the Office of Outreach. My name is Deborah Green. I'm the Administrator for the Office of Business and Economic Opportunity. The Office of Business and Economic Opportunity oversees essentially the DBE program. We handle all DB certification processes. We handle the SBE program as well as the SBE certification process, which is actually a set-aside program. We also handle all goal setting for EDGE and DBE and goal attainment. We have the OJT and DBE supportive services within the office, and we make sure that we report all of our DBE program information to Federal Highway. Those that could benefit from the work that the Office of Business and Economic Opportunity does would be small businesses, uh, specifically women and minority businesses, anyone looking to develop their business in heavy highway construction, as well as those that are looking for construction employment opportunities. The goals and objectives for the Office of Business and Economic Opportunity are essentially level the playing field for anyone um, who's looking to do business with the heavy highway construction, specifically any contract that's federally assisted. We also, of course, try to encourage and um, foster the development of construction workers that are minority and women, and that's with our OGT program, and as well as our drone training. My name is Katie LaPlace and I'm the Administrator for the Office of Civil Rights Compliance. Well, the Office of Civil Rights Compliance works to ensure that employees are being treated fairly, they're being compensated fairly per prevailing wage laws. The Office of Civil Rights allows employees to ask questions and receive answers regarding their rights while working on a government contract. And lastly, the citizens of Ohio benefit from the Office of Civil Rights Compliance because we ensure that we are being good stewards of tax dollars. The goals and objectives of the Access and Equity section of our office is to promote access and equity throughout the programs and services that ODOT funds by continuing education, providing resources, and open discussions about how we can be more proactive. I'm Lynn Stevens. I am the Administrator of the Office of Outreach. Our Office of Outreach is structured regionally. Basically, we're dividing up the state into four regions. So we have outreach managers in each of these regions that handle the outreach in those particular areas of Ohio. So we are in the community, in the regions, meeting with businesses, meeting with individuals who are interested in doing business with ODOT or learning how to do business with ODOT. Our educational sessions, our webinars, our events, uh, such as magic matchmakers, everything that we do as far as reaching out to the community that is under our jurisdiction in the Office of Outreach. We like to be a one-stop shop for our stakeholders, for our businesses um, who are looking to do business with ODOT or who are already doing business with ODOT. We can be an initial entry point for small, disadvantaged, minority um, business owners, large contractors, prime contractors. We can help connect them to the appropriate division, appropriate stakeholders here at ODOT. Also individuals who are looking for employment opportunities. 
ODI has had a lot of successes. Probably the biggest success most recently in fall of 2021 uh, was that we received notification from Federal Highway that we were released from our conciliation agreement. And essentially what that means is that Federal Highway believes that not only are we fully compliant with our DBE program, but they have confidence in what we're doing that we will continue that compliance uh, in the years to come. Another huge success, something I'm very proud of, is of course the Civil Rights Transportation Symposium. One of our signature outreach events within the ODI division is our annual Civil Rights Transportation Symposium. So the, our Office of Outreach takes the lead on planning that symposium, which is a great, fantastic opportunity to highlight diversity in the transportation field. We're just excited to bring a plethora of community leaders, governmental leaders, business leaders um, together to network work and learn about what the Ohio Department of Transportation is doing in the area of, of diversity and inclusion. When you treat people fairly and equally, everybody benefits. The trust that we have gained from the public, from the community, that we are not just talking the talk, but walking the walk, and we're willing to make changes and to focus on these issues and to do what needs to be done to make a difference. Thank you.